The PO unboxing. Yeah. So last time. Wait, you're not gonna do the thing. Which thing? The thing that usually annoys me. Oh, da 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 da. da. <laughs> I love you. There are no pony plushies for you to throw at me. It, 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 it doesn't work the same way when you just throw a pillow. Look, I'll work with what I got. So anyway, now you have nothing. <laughs> so anyway. Oh yeah, that pillow we got. Yeah, I still love this. Ah, I got it upside down. So anyway, last time we got a big package from people from, from from people that the UPS nicknamed Big, big Chungus. Chungus. <laughs> and apparently you guys saw that as a challenge. Help me with this. Nah. Because be someone sent us this huge ass thing. <laughs> and we are going to use this box with whatever is inside of it. Basically, as our storage medium. That's why we're starting with biggest last. Ch big chungus, big chungus, big chungus. Like this is bigger than big chungus, I would say. It's no, longer, this is longer than, than big chungus. And, and of Ooh, course, it's gonna be mostly. Paper. It's gonna be mostly wasted space. We got paper. Here, Cherry, paper. It's a box. Wait. Is this that thing you wanted that I don't understand? I know. I'm I'm not sure what this is because of what's labeled on it. Wait, what? A broomstick? AVN Legends Gear Broomstick Avengers. It's what a, the? Is it an Avengers broomstick? Oh, okay. I know what it is. I don't know why it's called broomstick, but it's not that. Okay. Help me. Yeah. Oh, sure. Now you want to help. You know what? Fine. I'm not going to do anything. Uh, no, uh, it, the, the Amazon thing says what it is. Stormbreaker. It's Stormbreaker. But it's broomstick? I don't know why this is labeled broomstick. Is it a Stormbreaker broomstick? I mean, if it's a, broom, if it's a Stormbreaker broomstick, I kind of love that. Man, this is like... I, I don't know how I feel about it. I kind of want that. and I kind of wanted the whole Avengers-themed like cleaning supplies. Like someone thought they were sending a Stormbreaker the toy, like like a big, you know, expensive roleplay toy, but no, it's a broomstick. It's so big. How the hell is it? Here, you need the. Uh... Yeah, we just need to turn it on its side. How pull? Yeah, is it? Can you can you see if it says, still says broomstick on the other side? No, but I'm pulling. Yeah, yeah. To answer your question, Lewis, it's this big. <laughs> Oh yeah, look at that. Look at it! Oh! This is big. Okay, should we open it? No, we are not opening this on screen. It's too big. It's, it's gonna create such a huge mess. But it's Stormbreaker, Lewis. Electronic Axe! It, it's Stormbreaker. <laughs> yes, it is. But it, it's Stormbreaker. It's huge. Thank you, whoever sent this. We I want to. I, I want to say that I know the person who did because they were on the Discord saying they were sending another big thing to us. Maybe we should put it on the wall. Ah. Maybe. Oh, you can see the uh, control switch right there, presumably. Oh God, this is big. Now we have no excuse to not cosplay. <laughs> and I have to make a Thor cosplay. Yes. Forty-four inches, according to that. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Please do that. Please, I would like to see that. Please. Please. I mean, I would not look as proud Bur as Birthday as, gift. I'm not Chris Hemsworth, sweetie. I know, but I'll, d I'll deal with what I got, Lewis. Anyway, let's see what <laughs> else we got. This right. does not actually have a name on it, just the United States Postal Service. And this one is from an, it just says it's from an independent artist. That could be anyone. Hmm. An independent artist. So, and it's very soft, so I'm guessing it's a t-shirt. Ooh, I got a bunch of comics. Oh, it's several t-shirts. All right, let's see. Oh, 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 this is cool. Check it out, Lou. Ooh, it's a Nightwing shirt. That's cool. That is cool. This looks cool. All right, let's see. Ah, we got a... Oh, this is already looking cool. Uh-oh, Cherry's trying to get into the box. <laughs> 
Got the Haley Circus, Flying Grayson's. Nice, I love it. Oh man, I'm gonna totally steal this t-shirt. It, uh -huh. it has, it, I love it. Oh, I, are they the right size? I haven't checked, but I'm guessing they're at least 2X. Yeah, they're 2X. Okay. Oh, oh, Teen Titans, I'm stealing this. Nope, this shirt's mine now. <laughs> the shirt is mine now. Who needs to buy clothes when people can just send them to you? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there's, I think, two more in here. Oh my god, Chieri, stop trying. Chieri wants to get in the box. No, Chieri. Let me get in the box. Too bad. Let me get in the box. Ooh, is that one. a uh, that's Transformers, I think? Yep. <laughs> Optimus Prime surrounded by guns. Love it. <laughs> and there's one more, I think. Yep. One more. What do we got? Ooh, Starscream. Your favorite. I no, uh, Soundwave is my favorite. Look, I don't but know. But we love Starscream anyway. Look, I don't know your robot. We anything. still love Starscream! <laughs> anyway, I got a bunch of stuff and a letter. Let me see if... Did I get a letter in this? Uh, oh, it's a postcard. Oh, okay. This is just a T Public postcard. Okay. Why don't you read that off while I show off what's in here as, as Cherry continues to explore the mostly empty box. We got... Ooh, it has a heart-shaped sticker. Scooby-Doo Halloween original movie. Hmm. Got uh, Batman Scarecrow. Oh, it's that Scarecrow Year One. I heard about this. It's a Valentine. Oh. Even though it's May. <laughs> Probably sent a while ago. Yep, it's a Valentine. Batman it would Adventures. be a crime not to wish you a happy Hearts Day. Roses are red. Batman likes VHS the best. Pink is nothing but death and crime and the rage of the beast. Oh, not best, least. Gotcha. Uh, uh, Bat, uh, hmm. let's see, uh, uh, Arkham Knight Volume 2. Oh, I love this. I love this card. This, the art on it's so cute. I think that's, that's Scotty Young art. Looks like it. And DC Comics Bombshell. Nice. Nice, so thank you whoever sent this stuff. It comes with stickers. And it also, it came with these little, like, you know, the ones that you would give to kids, like, other kids in class. Hmm. Is the cat still in here? Yes, she is. Oh, Chieri. She's not getting out of there anytime soon. Oh, oh Chieri. Why must you do the things? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I love that. That one from uh, Brian Tucker. I'm opening something from Jack Park. Oh, this is from Canada. Cool. Jack from Canada. Yeah. Has sent. Yeah. Spider-Man the manga! We actually have pretty much all of Spider-Man the manga because I think someone sent that in a previous PL unbox, but thank you anyway! Yeah, I think they sent all of it. Like, or maybe that's just the missing one we don't have. It could be. <laughs> Alright, oh good! Actually, this is an order from me. This is Mr. T and the T-Force number 6 for later this year. Oh, yay! Yeah, do not go a year without reviewing that. Yeah, no, we're not doing that ever again. I have, do not do that ever again. As I've said on Twitter and uh, in that episode, uh, we're going to do Mr. T stuff for, until I die. <laughs> yes. Cherry's just sitting there looking up at me. She's so cute. Oh, she just loves boxes. The other day, Cherry not only jumped into a box, but then fell with the box from like, I don't know, three feet up. I'm like, Cherry, what the heck? Are you okay? And she's just like, meow. <laughs> I for poor kitties. Oh, by the way, this week was our cat's birthday. Yep. Oh, uh, that's another thing that I ordered from eBay. What is Codename Ninja? Yes. Oh, you're going to go back to Solson? Yep. Uh, the one new more Solson stuff. And Codename Ninja, I talked about that in the Ninjutsu uh, uh, number, uh, number one, number two. Yeah, you Ah, I think this is actually more your thing based off of this artwork. Me! Okay. Okay. Let's see. Dear Supervillains. Okay, it's a DC book. DC Kids book. I'll check that out. And... Oh! Goranger Super Sentai Manga! Oh, wow! Now that's more you, you. But it's manga, so it's also me. And it's also... Is that Shotaro Ishimori? Yes. Yes, it is Shotaro Ishimori! It's also a hardcover, which makes it hard to scan. Um... I, 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 I mean, I'm not blaming the, the person who bought it for us. Thank you so much for that. It's a, it's like a, it's a title that you know adults would buy, because they're the only ones who probably not only buy Go Ranger anything, but also Shotaro Ishinomori. We moved the coffee is, table right here, and unfortunately it moves everything closer. I think I'm like kind of off camera most of this, too. 
Uh, no one needs to look at me. <laughs> yes, they do. Because you're awesome, and I love you. Uh, no one needs to look at me. Yes, they do. Yeah. I'm opening something from David Rogers. And what is that box? Don't know. Who's it from? Don't know. Doesn't say. It's a lot of boxes that are just like sent through professional services or order from Amazon and stuff like that. So we can't thank specific people. Ah, okay. Is it toy? Yes. Is I'm it... not sure how to feel about this toy, but I'll show you in a minute. Is it ponies? Nope. Is it anime? Nope. Is it anime ponies? Nope. Is it... It's Star Trek. Ah. Oh, cool. Um, Transformers movie prequel. Ah. Gotta make sure don't hit the cat. This is the USS Enterprise. It's actually a model. Oh, cool. It's the Discovery Enterprise. Which has a, which, which continues, it has fins on the nacelles and the pylons for the nacelles have holes in them for no reason. Just want, just a big long hole across them because we got to make it, you know, to go faster. Go faster, fins. It's a very nice model though. I just hate Discovery's Enterprise. Why did you change it? There's no need to change it. It's iconic. Why do you insist on changing things? People will people still watch the original series. They still watch TNG. People don't care. They like just because it's not how it, just because nowadays we have touch screens and crap like that doesn't mean that it's not how it happened. We had buttons in TOS. That's just the way it was. I just don't like Jezia, Discovery. Jezia Dax ex explicitly said this. I love 23rd century design. It was a design aesthetic. That's all. You don't have to like have touch screens and holographic interfaces because, oh, it doesn't look futuristic anymore because uh, that was made in the 60s. It's just how it was. I, I, I am an old man who, just, who can't get over stupid things. Also, Discovery itself has, pro has huge amounts of problems. But Discovery sucks. Discovery sucks, and it—it it fucking sucks. It slowly <laughs> gets better. No, it doesn't. I'm, going, I'm not gonna watch it anymore though, because after three seasons, I'm tired of waiting to like the show. Third season was overall good, but its ending pissed me off so much that I do not want to watch any more of it. Remember when we would just be driving in the car doing our errands, and we talk about Star Trek, and we always said to each other, "Man." It would be great to have another Star Trek series again. Monkey's paw. The monkey's paw. Just, just duh. And then it gave us, duh. Yeah, I, I'm, I think I'm just done with modern I Trek. I wanted to like it's, it. It's not for me. Female it is... black man character. I would have, if this show was good, I would have been cosplaying Michael Burnham like every fucking like convention. Hey, what's that? Captain Simeon, the space monkeys. Oh man, I remember that cartoon. This is from Red. This is the Red Bubble Mug. I'm not sure who sent this. I I haven't watched this cartoon in like I, I don't even know. I, I barely remember anything about Captain Simony and the Space Monkeys. I have never heard of it. Really? Yep. Well, it was syndicated, and you know, syndicated cartoons, stuff like that. Yeah. Let me put this. Uh, yeah, because it's fragile. It won't get thing. Still, thank you. Also, I'm opening something I know you would like. Oh. It's a toy. Toys. I like toys. Yes, we know. So unless they're Discovery toys. Um, well, again, it's a nice model. I might keep it. I'm not sure what to do with it. We will see. Ah, ah good. I've been waiting for this. What is the... Wait, Ghostbusters? Yes. Transformers? Yes. Wait, what? Ectotron. No. Yes. No. And there was a Transformers and Ghostbusters crossover, which I'm covering in a few weeks. Maybe that's why... Uh, yeah, I know, I knew... I, I was actually expecting this in the last PO unboxing, because a fan said they were sending this to me. Because it's Ectotron! Please tell me you're going to put it on the show. Like, of course. <laughs> that's the entire reason to do it. Thank you so much! I don't get it. Yeah, I, I, I want to say the thing was like 40 bucks in the store, though, which is why I was kind of reluctant to get it. Not that it's... Uh, you know, you know, you know, big crossover properties, of course, it's bound to happen. It's just like... It's, it's harder and harder for me to justify large expenses for toys. Mm. Like, I would not be buying Stormbreaker on my own just because I'm sure that's at least 200 bucks minimum. For, for me, when I'm at a convention, uh, I would totally just <laughs> slam down money for, like, a good pony Someone's, or something like that. Someone sent me the gold key adaptation of Sword Disney's Sword in the Stone. Neat. I might, I might review that. 
I like that movie. Hmm. I can never remember I, I love past Madame a certain Nims. point. I like the Madame Nim song and the wizard battle. That's my favorite part. I don't remember the wizard battle. That's the thing. It feels like like my copy of the movie ended right after Merlin got back from his vacation. <laughs> and it's just like, oh, okay. Just weird place to end the movie, but all right. But I don't think it ends there. I think it's supposed to keep going. Well, eventually they find the sword in said stone. Well, no, that, that, that's like early on. All right, so I'm opening something from Benjamin Hall. All right, Benjamin Hall, that's a lot of comics. Yep. How you doing, Benjamin? Got She-Hulk. Sensational She-Hulk. Hmm. Oh, I think this is all sensational. No, it's not all sensational She-Hulk. We got Sensational She-Hulk. We got Kazar the Savage. Kazar the Savage. Also, I got Arthur, King of Britain. This uh, comic with a much more Zack Snyder-ish cover, but the actual interiors are shown in the back. It looks like it's an old comic. Hmm. We got TKO shorts. Yeah, it's in black and white too. Uh, New Avengers, Spirit of America. That'd be fun. I might do like an Arth uh, like a King Arthur month because of my love of Arthurian lore. Yeah. I'm what so out of practice. You... Are you gonna sing Camelot stuff? Of course. La da 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 ba ba ba. Justice and for balance. Justice for balance. Anima. Cherry, what are you doing? I think it's just Anima because it's supposed to be about animals. Uh, I'm not sure if I could show this cover, but... Probably not. Uh, it... Come into me, and it's like a woman, naked woman with, like, needles Actually, and... I think this is a man. Oh, naked man. Surrounded by... Oh, it's probably fine to show that. Eh. Welcome to Double Standard Theater. <laughs> Welcome to No Moral Theater. More <laughs> She-Hulk, and we've got some Judo Master. Oh, my God, Lewis. Look at this. It's Charlton Comics. Yep. Judo Master, uh, one of the, the uh, DC, one of the Action Heroes line characters. More She-Hulk, which... Oh, and Prez. Have you ever covered Prez? Nope. You should cover Prez. I should cover Prez. Yes, do some Prez. <laughs> Every time I hear more things about Prez, it's just, it's hilarious. I just want to um, freaking read it. Because it just, it's so stupid. Oh, God. Press. Yeah. Okay, now I got a big one coming up. Yeah. Yeah, the problem with my plan of using this thing as the as our big storage box is it kind of gets in the way of everything. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much, I think this is my last thing over here. I got lots of stuff over here. I'll get. I'll hand stuff off to you. Okay. I'm opening something from uh, Emily Davis. Sherry is out of the box, and now she's st sitting over there. Yeah, I saw her. She got out the box a while back. Maybe it's because she noticed we kept break putting stuff in there. You're ruining my box. Yes, we are ruining your box. Where have you done this? Is that a Christmas a... gift? No, oh, no, it's not a Christmas gift. It's just a gift because, you know, gift wrapping comes all year round. Hope this will help you for your future works from Vagar Arnson. Hmm. Oh, wow. This is a box full of some, some stuff. This is from, again, Emily Davis. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. A lot of individual. Let me open this and I'll help you with those. Okay. <laughs> now what is that? Oh, I'm trying to open this now to. What I like about the Amazon, like the these bags, is that you could always reuse them. Yep. Oh wow. What is it? It's an external optical drive. Nice. So it's a uh, it's a Blu-ray it's it's a portable Blu-ray and DVD and CD a CD disc, which I have two of these now. <laughs> Not this one in particular. Hey, I don't have one. Hmm. Yoink. <laughs> Yeah, thank you so much. We got a portable Blu-ray drive a uh, a while ago. Yoink! And I had a spare, and I had a portable DVD drive forever. So Ooh. yeah, and you know what? Having spares of those is actually good in case they ever go bad or something. Hmm. All right, now help me with these because it's filled with like a lot of small things. But thank you, Hanyamar Artson. All right, this is all from more fun awesome. comics and games in downtown Denton, Texas. Alrighty, whoop, got a small one here. Denton, Texas, where they put dents in things. Uh, it's a black light? It's a black light. Oh. Wait, um, unless there's something inside of this. Oh, let's take a look at that. I got Kleenex. Oh, nice. Oh, I need Kleenex. Explore the world. Not going to lie. That's actually a very useful thing. Oh, no. This is filled with something else. Oh, toys. Ponies. Vintage. Old school ponies. Aw. Vintage ponies. I've got Squad Goals LOL Surprise Tissues. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's a letter in here, too. Huh. A re 
I'll read that. Okay. Uh, I don't have many vintage ponies at all, so I'm glad to have them. Okay. Hey, Lewis, I have an idea for a finalist arc for the Contest of Champions. Linkara goes up against a Vega from a universe where everything is the same, but Vega is running the show, and Linkara and Vega are a couple. It is cliche, <laughs> I know, but it is a good one, meaning you are kind of meant for each other. We are. We are. We are. Hey, crowns! Wait, no, this is the world's smallest marker set. This will be fun for the show. <laughs> now, these little blind bags here, I love them. Yep. That's for you to open. Oh, also, it's sorry. likely outcome just going by the numbers and whole having to fight someone you care about part of it is good plot stuff. It also gives the viewers a bit of a fourth wall break. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And it's an easy and safe thing to film nowadays. That's true. Oh my god, it's one of those pens that are, have all the different pens. Nice. The pens with the different colors. I love these. I always loved these since I was a kid. Eee! A bunch of this is for Vega because sometimes it feels like she is left out of the goodies at times. If Vega oh. feels the need to give some of this stuff away, no insult will be felt. I approve of regifting. Nakara, have you heard of the Council of Geeks? They are mostly Star Trek slash Doctor Who viewer channels with some good LGBT plus issue videos. I think I've heard of them. I think I've heard I, of them too. I don't too. think I've uh, ever listened to their stuff. And look, it's a, it's Pride Patch and it's a it's like a unicorn patch and I love it. And I got some jacket to put up, put this on. I yeah. actually got you and them mixed up when I was trying to re find your channel. Time passes and things change, you know, and I am very bad with faces and names. Don't worry about it. Uh, it was just two pages so if there's another note in here uh saying yeah. your name and whatnot either way oh thank their you. name's emily oh emily that's thank what you. it says on the box thank you emily we really appreciate this yeah thank you emily oh man but yay i got some mark tiny markers because that would be great for a video I'm and, doing soon. and sherry's and, back in the box and ponies and man this is just a whole lot it is a lot but i'm not gonna complain oh 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 I think, I think we got something that's vegalicious. Oh shit, we did get something that's vegalicious. Hello Kitty! Okay, you don't know it because I'm dressed usually in my tomboyish wear when I'm on doing the peel unboxing, like basically what I wear around the house. But I love kawaii things. I love dressing in kawaii fashion. And you will see that on my show, Vegas Art Room, occasionally. Especially when I'm talking about weeaboo subjects, like right now I'm doing the uh, whole retrospective on manga books. We got a, a proper yo, Christmas, yo, Christmas gift. And uh, also, wrapping. Oh, shit. This Full of, like, Lisa Frank ponies. <sighs> but, yeah, I uh, also to talk about that letter. Finger, hey, hey, it's Finger Cats. Finger Cats. From Steven Universe. <laughs> Um, oh wow, it's a cat paw. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, with the whole us, like, doing a kind of a storyline with our shows together sort of thing, or me, the thing is, in a top to fourth wall, we are not a couple, and I actually, per like, prefer that. Mm. It's because, you know, in a top to fourth wall show, I'm just Vega, the angry, landlordy woman who yells and throws ponies. And it's, I kind of prefer that because I don't want my, our actual real life relationship to be fictionalized. You get what I mean? Hmm. Because it's us and it's real. And if, say, the worst happens between us, I don't want it to be, like, awkward when you go back and watch old episodes. Yeah. A pity the fool who don't like, is what the message on here says, so I'm assuming this is a Mr. T thing. Yeah. And as for ever crossing over, like... Well, you're not in Vega, Vega's art room, but if you were, I w you would probably just be Lou. It's a Mr. T pop. That is awesome. And we are you know, I don't like pop figures, but it is Mr. T. We are not getting rid of that. It is Mr. T. I so, you know what? I can't I can't complain about that. All right, let me close this back up. Uh, it's, just, it's just filled with all these plastic unicorns. Lots and lots of goodies. We're not even halfway through this box. We are not. Maybe this one should have been saved for last. <laughs> well, no way to know with this stuff. Oh, God. It, it's just all up on my lap. Just, you are spoiling us. Oh! What is it? Masks! Oh, for, um, pandemic masks? Yep, like Hello Kitty mask. Yay! Got, uh, uh shiny stickers. Oh, I like shinies. And a bunch of these, uh, yo, know, adult face masks with very cute designs on there. Shiny is my favorite color. Hmm. <laughs> Very cool! If you haven't noticed, I also have kind of childish tastes in things. Especially when it comes to girly thingies. Well, there's no point in being grown up if you can't act childish sometimes. 
of weirdly shaped boxes too. And I, I like the, that there's really a mystery here. This could be anything. Yeah, I know. I thought it was going to be light stuff, but then, yeah. Yeah, no, Emily, you, you have you have loaded us up with with lots of stuff here. Oh, I got knockoff pony. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got what the what the me. <laughs> Oh, a I bunch got, of like a clear, a uh, crystal clear rarity, like a clear rarity. Got some buttons in here. This is a very tight box here. Little yeah. kitty. Uh, yeah, ooh. I'm just gonna put that there. Little bye kitty. Ooh yay! Pride month is next month. Oh oh, it's a beanie boo mask. Beanie boo? Yeah, it's like the beanie babies that are like all kawaii and cute. Ah. Lovely it's, little. I love it. It reminds me of Lisa Frank. A lot of these little unicorn. Pinkie Pie. Uh, let's see. Oh, Bulbasaur Pez. Yo. You know, I actually haven't eaten Pez in years. It's still the same. It's chalky, but, you know, sugary. Oh, I got an ugly doll. This had a movie, but I don't remember hearing anything about it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ooh, more masks. This one is... Yo, I just bought... Cloth face masks, finally, after after doing... Yeah, this one has dinosaurs. This Speaking of, I got little rubber dinosaurs here. Nice. This, oh, oh. Pokemon change purse. Ooh. Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Pocket mans. I will still never forget. Oh, there's some pins in here. A oh, school neat. pin and a uh, arcade pin. Awesome. Sweet. I will still never forget, We, me and Lewis once had an argument a few years ago, back when we were dating, over collecting. And how I was lot. like, Lewis, you're a collector. No, I'm not. And I was like... I don't collect comics. Lewis, you... At least not in the way that people, like, people have game Ooh. collections. Little mi mini markers again. Because they intend to collect stuff, you know, and trying to find rare stuff and just trying to have, like, the, the, just the joy of owning Texas it on its minutes. own. For me, I would not care to have like a first edition print of a comic. I want the story of it so I can have trade reprints. Mind you, if we ever got like Action Comics number one or something, we're selling that stuff, that thing right away because I know how valuable it is. But you know what I mean. Pokemon. What's the tagline of Pokemon? Uh, born to be a winner. No. What's the tagline of Pokemon? That thing you all obviously collect and have a collection of? Oh, right. We all live in a Pokemon world. No! Hey, it's an alpha bottle opener. I want... <laughs> and a wizard. What? Okay, two things. One, a bottle opener for, for what is still a kid's franchise. Well, look. And secondly, it sounded like you said an alpha butt opener. <laughs> oh my god! Yes, I'm going to open your butt with this. <laughs> I'm going to open up a can of whoop ass. <laughs> open up a can of whoop ass! I'm gonna open up a can of whoop ass. Oh my god. Now I want Alpha to Ay, 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 I'm gonna kick your ass. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> oh my god. We got uh, key covers for you. Ooh, we got something for the cats. Ooh, pony covers. I'll get the cat thing in a minute here, but. Aww. Is this supposed to be a little tiny me? I'm not sure. It might just be like a generic doll. Aww. We got a mermazing purse. Hey, it's Mermaid. It is Mermaid. Happy Mermaid. I, I wish I'd done more for Mermaid, but I'm not as into mermaids as I am into unicorns. I mean, if I had to choose a favorite fictional imaginary creature, unicorns or pegasi is going to win every time. Laser pointer. I think we got a laser pointer in a previous PO unboxing, but I don't know what happened to it. It got lost during the move, but now we got a new one. Yes. And I Thank got a so tiny much. Vega. It's going to try to be from some big franchise that we're not familiar with. I doubt it. This looks like just a, like you said, a generic black girl doll. <laughs> oh, man. This is like a treasure chest of things. Here, pass me another one in a minute here. Yep. Yeah. Here, you can grab this one. Thank you. It sounds like it's a bit of small things. Like, holy crap, Emily, you're spoiling us here. You're spoiling us. This bag is going to get full in a second here. Oh, we got pop. What pop did we get? Man, I think if... You know, when I think about Geekery in the 2010s, I think pop figures is going to be like a big 
defining point in it. Oh, it's like a sound wave pop. Yeah, you like sound waves. I do love sound wave. Sound wave is superior. Here, Transformers suck. You'll like this. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> right. <laughs> but no, Transformers is fine. I just never got into it. It's fine. It's not you know not every franchise is for everybody. I still think, however, if you do review my little pony slash transformers um comic i want that to be a full collab oh lord yes that that has to be a full collab i i need to teach you about ponies atomic candy oh nice you bunch of to... buttons and a bunch of other tiny things i think this might be yep yeah, cat toys oh yeah bunch of cat toys there i'm gonna open this up because, okay, so our kitty's birthday was this weekend, and we celebrated by giving them some wet food and buying them uh, some toys and giving them so many pets. Yeah, Chieri, we got a new... We got, oh, she came over. She hears it. Starfire's yeah. over, sitting yeah, on the uh, cat you. tree. To sl it's for you. <laughs> Even Starfire's like, whoa, what's that, what's that? This is a reclosable bag of assorted charms. Ooh, yay. I can always use those. I'm just throwing them at this point. We're, we're going to be finding these under places for like months. You know that, right? There's tons of tiny stuff here. More charms. These little rubber unicorn uh, rings. Nice. <laughs> but yes, I'm so glad that the cats also get some uh, PO unboxing. What the? <gasps> oh my god! Lewis, you won the Space Award! I am out of this world. It says so. Here, accept your award. Give a speech. I couldn't have done this without Vega. Oh. And Emily, of course. Emily was a huge contributing factor to winning this award. Also, state of Texas. Yeah, this is where this came from, Texas. Texas Imports. Thank you. <laughs> it's been my dream. So, now that you won the Space of the Ward Award, where are you going to do now? Go to and uh... Oh, God, I want to go to Disneyland or Disney Ooh. World. I've been to Disney World and haven't been to Disneyland. Tiny washi tape. Ooh, I like washi tape. Okay, this one's filled with stuff, too. I got unicorn mints. I got... Oh, boy! Normal face masks! <laughs> hey, you never know. Oh, Lewis. And another Hello Kitty mask. Or is it? No, it's not. It's a, it's a very cute design mask, but it's not Hello Kitty. We got Pez, but I can't tell what character this is. Uh, give me a second. Actually, I don't think this is a character at all. Let me see. I think it's just a heart shape. Uh, I think so, yeah. I don't know what this... Oh, it's a test tube slime. Just a Pez dispenser and not and not, uh, not any character. What does it mean? I've never seen a Pez dispenser that didn't have a character head. This <laughs> I is, have. This is rare. I have. They're very generic things. I mean, I didn't think they would have like a, like a, like a, even a top on. It's just like a little like, thing that just pops them out. Anyway, this is for Linksano. Ah, Good! I ordered these months ago. <laughs> Linksano, what are you going to do with that? Drink them. But aren't they for science? Yes. And how do you think I get more science? But shouldn't you do experiments? I am experimenting by drinking them. You know, that's how certain uh, scientists died, right? Certain scientists, but not me, because I'm smarter than them. If you were smart, you wouldn't. Never mind. Just go kill yourself. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. I got uh, pencils and crayons. Yay! All right, how much more is in there? Oh, a bunch. Here, I'll give you a few things. Here you go. All right, let me. This one's got a bunch of smiley faces all over it. <laughs> that means that means it's happy in there. <laughs> more pet. Uh, let's see, tissues. Like, do you run a toy store? Like, holy crap! You got individual Pez things. More tissues. You can never have too many tissues. And flexible fabric bandages. Is there something we should know about some of the stuff here? Are, are, are we going to catch something? Hey, putty. Ooh, silly putty. Uh, let's see. My parents forbid us from having silly putty after a while because it just made a mess. Did, did y'all leave it on the carpet? Yes. Shouldn't do that. What's this? I grew up around hardwood floors, so I never had to deal with that. I don't think this is actually what this is. I don't even know what this is. It looks like a... Uh... Remote or something like that? Or a Roku or something? Okay, yeah, it's more uh, unicorns and Pez and Superman soap. <laughs> Stronger than grime. Oh, my God. And, ah, 
A Pinkie Pie translucent head Pez dispenser. Yay. Anyway, check this out for your desk. Ah, nice. <laughs> you should have it for the camera. Yep. It's like there's a figure here and it has a little backdrop. And I love things like that. Little mints. Yeah, lots of mints. Should we be worried about... We, we, have, we have our no food rule, but should we worry about that with the Pez? Um... There's a lot of Pez in here. It is very well packaged, so... I might give it a pass, but I really don't want to start the whole everyone sends edible things. Yeah, no, I'm going to close this and swap it out with another bag for getting okay. full here. So, honestly, don't send food. It's not because we don't like food. It's not because we don't like treats or appreciate it. It's just out of safety, yeah. really. And I don't want another, I don't want to be involved in like a needle incident. Mm. Have you heard of that? I'm not sure if it's real. Like, it might be just an urban legend, but yeah. it's scary. So we're going to put the other garbage bag. And this has another note, so I will read it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it has a couple notes. Here, you can have okay. And I got a cupcake! I got a crystal lens cloth. <laughs> oh, that's good for your glasses, I guess. Mm. There's like three notes here. All right. Maybe this will, ah. I used upcycled paper bags that thought it would be cool. I also have some sad news. Freaks and Geeks is closed due to the plague of 2020, but are oh. still selling online. So yeah, that's where, where they got this stuff from. Uh, on a lighter note, I found out my grandma loves comics, so I got a bunch of comic books to her for, for her to pass the time with. Nice. That's great. Oh man, when we're old, we're gonna be around so many other old geeks. We're gonna have a blast in the old people home. Hmm. And we got the, uh, we got, I think we got an actual, the actual start of the letter here. Dear Lewis and Vega, I hope this finds you well. I have sent you to some stuff that you might like. Uh, no kidding. <laughs> this, that, that's just a list of contents. Okay. I also have some questions. Uh, will you sell masks with the top and fourth wall all logo or the LOTD logo? Yes, I can. And I do, in fact. Uh, my Teespring. Oh, go get your mask. Uh, I put it in the car. Damn it. Uh, I, in fact, finally ordered one for myself. Uh, yeah, we have masks in the Teespring store, which you can see just, like, underneath most videos, which have the top the fourth wall symbol and the long box of the damn logo on them. I should probably set one up for, like, the top the fourth wall logo and stuff like that. Yeah, and Cherry's playing with one of the, uh, toys you sent. Cherry loves the little fish. So, yeah, I do, in fact, sell those, and you should check them out. Uh, let's see. Side note, because that sounds like something he, uh... Has Dr. Linksano been working on the DVOC 91 vaccine? Yes, he has. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's been waylaid because he drank some weird chemicals. Oh, my God. Stop drinking things. I can quit whenever I want. Because <laughs> that sounds like something he would do. The reward money alone should keep him in test tubes for years. Also, he would get some sweet science prizes and the women and or men who are attracted to a mad scientist. Ha! As if that was a problem beforehand! <laughs> How has Mr. Finevoice's work been affected by the events of 2020? He has set up a, uh, uh, basically a live, a live streaming chat that he hosts concerts every week and sells exclusive tickets to certain cons- to more private concerts to- to- He has an OnlyFans! Yes. Ha <laughs> ha Hot! Hot! Unfortunately, it's not him stripping, it's like, like, like the worst it gets is he takes off the bow tie and opens up a few buttons. No! <laughs> how much? But he sings to them. How much do I pay for him to also take off the hat? One thousand. Lewis, I need your credit card. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Harvey is just one of my favorites of your characters. Uh -huh. uh, and it looks like we are actually running down. There's only a few more things left. And you want to pass yep. one to me? Hey, washi tape. Also, uh, dear Lincar and Vega, you can burn all this paper and cardboard if you want when you set fire to some really bad comics. Just peel off the tape. <laughs> Light and run away. <laughs> Here. Open that. Another washi tape, I presume. Or more Pez. Pez in a round dispenser. People make art with washi tape, and I should try that. Like, on the show. All right, what is this? Is it tape? It is washi tape. Cool. Oh, it's a Batman mask of stickers. It's like one of those kids' things. With mask and stickers. Yeah. Batman. I found a, a new Batman mask as my current one deteriorates. I say deteriorates, it's just getting, it gets like, you know, the rubber material, you put it in a, in a, uh, a, uh, a drawer or something, you know, it, you know, temperature changes make it like attached to other items and so it like peels off, off paint from other, from the stuff around it. 
Uh, antiseptic Which, wipes and band-aids. Oh, Pokemon band-aids. Pokemon band-aids. Uh, because of that, like, so, so you can tell the mask has, like, weird paint splotches on it. And I asked people, should I try to clean this or try to replace it with something else? And people were like, no! It, it's actually better <laughs> because it because it's deterior, because it really shows off your Batman's deteriorating state. <laughs> Here. Hmm. Too long open late. We're not open late from Whataburger. We're just open. You know, I've never had any Whataburger, but whenever I go to Texas, I just see a lot of them. Got Fantastic Four 2021 calendar. We are halfway through 2021. Yeah. It's but always, thank you so much anyway. It's always kind of awkward getting calendars later in the year. Like, I found one of my, uh, what's it called? Here, try this. I found one of my, like, uh, date books, organizational books, late in the year, where, and I didn't even get to use it. What I is that fire drive? Is that one of the things you threw? Yep. Chieri was over there, like, just enjoying the little fish toy. And the cats always love more toys, and they're two years old, which means they're officially adults. Yo-Yo like, World, I think, wipes? I'm not sure what this is. Oh, it's little, it's like that little girl wipes. Oh, it's ponies. It is tiny pony plushies. Goody, more stuff to throw at it's me. It's fuzzy friends. It's another one of the more knockoff ponies. Uh, same with this one. Uh, it's another Fuzzy Friends. I think I got this one three times. Ooh, it masks. More dino, like these are Christmas masks? Christmas dinosaurs. Yay! Hopefully we don't have to wear them around Christmas. Oh man. More pony. It's just pony. It's not, ah, what the fuck? It's, it's not, fuzzy friends, sweetie. It's not my little pony. It's not little it's not tiny pony. It's not my baby horse. It's just pony. That's fuzzy what friends. this says. This fuzzy just friends. says pony. No fuzzy name, friends. no like cutie mark, no special power, no uh, friendship is magic, not even um the label on a horse. Not even relationships are okay. Just Pony. Relationships are okay. <laughs> My small horse relationships, relationships are, are okay. okay. Oh shit, spiral art. Do you remember spiral graph from when you were a kid? Yes. I never had one, but I wanted one. This is basically like a tiny version of that. Got ahead of the spiral graph factory. Meet mm -hmm. Dr. S. Ooh, Cheers. it's like little stickers. It's like little tiny stickers. They're kind of bumpy, too. I like the stickers that are kind of like have some uh, cushion for the pushing or whatever. I think that's... I'm done with this. I think this box is officially over. Da, 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 da. Thank you so much, Emily from Texas. Anyway, time to start opening everything else. Uh, maybe we should have ended on that one. Nope, too late. Uh, <laughs> Got a red bubble thing here. This one's... Oh, no. I saw it. No, you didn't. I saw it. There's nothing there. Give it to me. Nope. Give it to me. There's nothing here. Give it. I don't I don't know what's showing us. Give it. There's nothing there. Give it or I keep everything. No. I keep okay, all the fine. You could keep um you could keep my tiny equine uh amigos Ooh. are cool. <laughs> what is this? Like a sheet or something? Oh a wow. Flag? Is that a tapestry? Like a sheet or a tapestry or something. Here, I'll help. It, I, I think this is a bed sheet. What the, is Z Bot? It's a Z Bot flag or sheet it's or a something. It's a Z Bot sheet. It's it's also very low, low resolution. They just like put a low res. They put the Z Bot logo on this, and I love it. It's so <laughs> low res, but. It's Z-Bots. Thank you, whoever said this. I don't know anything about Z-Bots. It, it's not like there's some deep lore or anything like have, that. It's just like evil robots and good robots. I don't know anything else about it beyond that. There was no show or anything else like that. It was just this Micro Machine set that I think they wanted to pivot to something else. Oh, wow. Oh, it's like a Ditto one. We don't need any more Bulbasaur. Sure we do. This is a Ditto one. It's different. Also, there's like, like a little hole for the bulb. That's weird. Something for Heracross to suck out of. What the fuck? It's a Ditto Bulbasaur. 
No, that last. Oh, the Heracross thing. Yeah, it was a recurring gag on the anime to like suck the uh, for Heracross to jump out and suck the sap from Bulbasaur's bulb. Yeah, you're making the yeah the jokes in your head is what the jokes everyone made. Oh, just got it, Cherry. Oh, Cherry, come here. I need, I need some some ah. <laughs> anyway, let's moving on. <laughs> Thank you, whoever said these. <laughs> Zebot, she don't love that. It's Zebot. Is, is that the little things that you have? Announced? Yeah, the little teeny, tiny robots. Those are Zebots. Yeah, I'm sure there's a story on the back of it, but there's not like some TV show or comic book or anything. It was just a toy line, and I loved them. And I'm opening something from Discotech, so it's probably good. Ah. Oh, it's Mega Beast Investigator Just Beyond. Ah, so it's like uh, one of the Metal Heroes uh, things. I think so. I don't really know anything about this. Got something from uh, Rosano Green Stripe. Pass me something? Mm, sure. Yay. <laughs> you try to withhold Bulbasaur from me. <laughs> I don't know if I should trust you. You shouldn't. <laughs> I'm opening something from Andrew Osborne. Admittedly, you weren't withholding a Bulbasaur, you were holding a ditto. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hello, Lewis and Vega. I apologize if my handwriting is crap, but I followed a top for flaw since the end of my high school years. Wow. Thank you. That was a, I'm old. That was like 2009, Lewis. Yep, right, right when I started. <laughs> if not a bit or after. Until recently, I've never donated to the show, but lately I felt needed to sort out my collection, including my comics. At least with these, I've upgraded to larger omnibuses, but with the pandemic having limited usual recycling options, these two comics need a new home. Enclosed is... Marvel's Silk Volume 1 and Dragon Age Knight Errant. I liked Silk. Hmm. And Dragon Age. I never actually played Dragon Age, but I watched SF Debris uh, uh, playthroughs. If you have these already, I apologize. Otherwise, keep it up. Oh, Andrew. thank you. Thank you, Andrew. I appreciate it. We got uh, Invincible Iron Man here. Oh, and this is a letter that I And this with? is a letter, which I will read off once I take that off of the, the, the cardboard. Here, yeah. I'll give you another thing to open here. Thank you. I think I know what this is, but you'll see. Because there's another eBay purchase. Hmm. Uh, greetings, Ankara. My name is Rosano Greenstripe, and I've been watching AT4W for a long time, around the time of Athena number one back in the blip.tv days. Wow, that's ancient. Uh, yeah, all of five years ago? Six? That was like, you know, forever in internet years. I recently discovered your show, have binged through the plotline episode, rediscovered your episodes. Frankenstein's Army. Yep, that's what I ordered, because next late night double feature, found footage Frankenstein night. And Frankenstein's Army is one of them. Because I needed a DVD copy of it. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and now I can say with certainty that the quality of your output has only risen with time. That is true. Between the engaging stories, timing and pacing of jokes, and your on-screen acting chops, the improvements you made on all fronts are plain to see. However, what impresses me more than the content of your show is the content of your character. When you described not just the critical, but the moral failings of directs like Holy Terror, Secret Empire, Youngblood Number 10, or Heroes in Crisis, it's clear that the stances you hold are heartfelt, steadfast, but also well-reasoned, not dogmatic, and open to thoughtful re uh, re-examination. I thought I said re-controversy. That's the next line. <laughs> it's honestly a relief to watch your show without a fear of a milkshake duck controversy. Yet, and hopefully never. Yet, yeah, knock on wood, or I don't have any wood. Coffee table here. I can't read Cardboard it. is technically wood. <laughs> it's all paper. Also, we got, um, is this all of, this is a complete series, but I... Avatar The Legend of Aang, I'm not sure, I'm, what is yeah, that? Yeah, this, is this from Britain? Because they don't call it Last Airbender in, um, the UK because, uh, I think... Bending ben, is, 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 is slang for sex. Yeah, so they call it The Legend of Aang, and also this rating is kind of different from here in the US, so... Nice! I think that this is a... Uh, it's blue. Is Blu-ray region free? Uh, no, I'm not sure actually. No, we, I think we share a Blu-ray region with Japan, but that's about it. Your integrity is what encouraged me to buy the AT4W DVDs and join the Patreon because someone who holds themselves to such standards and succeeds much more often than not deserves to be lauded and supported. Thank you so much. Hmm. Enclosed is one of the first comics I have ever read. Iron Man number three eighty one, Danger Deep. I don't think this particular comic is review worthy, but it is a fun short romp with some classic shellhead action. I hope you enjoy it when you have a minute to relax with something fun and simple. To tie this missive into points you make on the show, Marvel lore enthusiasts may recall this comic mentions one of my favorite characters from the Iron Man supporting cast, Rumiko Fujikawa, Stark's love interest at the time. After obtaining the comic, 
Sorry, I'm just looking. Cherry's playing with one of the cat toys around <laughs> the uh, power of the camera. Thank you for sending out cat's toys again. <laughs> uh, after reading this comic, I found out that Rumiko died a cheap shock death by a one-off villain during the Avengers Disassembled storyline. Of course. Despite all the retcons and story we read since then, Rumiko has never appear re appeared in any media afterwards, not even the MCU or any other cartoons alike. It reminds me of the points you brought up around Event Comics Month 3. Sure, there's no way the death of Tony Stark or Thor or Captain America would ever stick, but for all intents and purposes, Rumiko is as dead as Danny Chase, her being the victim of a cheap shock death that doesn't advance any story except letting someone else hang off of Tony's arm at parties. It's a real shame, and I'd love for someone over at Marvel to pick her up and do something good with her. She deserved better. Hmm. And just to set things straight, I do have to claim at least some nerd cred. Iron Man was my favorite superhero before the movies, thanks to the Secret Wars storyline on the Spider-Man cartoon and the Iron Man cartoon's phenomenal theme song. At any rate, thank you for the years of entertainment and thought-provoking discussions, and I look forward to many more. Best wishes, Rosano Greenstripe. Thank you, Rosano. Hmm. Brought up some really good points about you, Will. Indeed. All right, there's a few more things. Yep, Got please pass me some. Big heavy one here if you want to start on that. Sure. Oh, jeez. Ugh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. oh, and it's from another country, and I love opening stuff from other countries. Alrighty. This is from Charlie Holtem, all the way from Canada. Hey, speaking of Canada, did you know, like, actually, I'm not sure, but I heard Letterkenny is actually a real town. Yep, so I've heard that too. But I'm not sure because I never really. Some people, say, some people in Canada say they can't watch Letterkenny because it reminds them too much of people they do know, and they're not as wit and they're not as fun. <laughs> this is a lot. Oh, tons of pony comics. There's a letter in there too. Yep. Yeah. Now I am actually haven't bought many pony comics since '50 because I just stopped going to the comic shop for a while, and then pandemic happened, and I'm just so behind. So this has a lot of ones I don't have, and a lot of variant covers I don't have. This is... Oh, oh. Hi, Lewis and Vega. I'm Charlie. I'm a longtime fan of Atop the Fourth Wall, who's talked to you a few times at Con Bravo. My favorite moments with you there have to be when I gifted you Katie Griffin's autograph, a.k.a. Sailor Mars' original VA from the 90s Sailor Moon dub. I remember getting that. And when you laugh really hard at my boyfriend's joke calling Pokemon Go's Team Valor, Valor Slackers. By the way, Team Mystic for life. Damn right. I love Jay Fawcett's cover for this. This is one of my favorites. I decided to finally send something in for PO Unboxing, and that something is my collection of My Little Pony comics. I stopped collecting the single issues a few years ago and wasn't sure what to do with them, so I was hoping that Vega might like them for her pony collection. Yes, and you have so many of the covers I don't have of some of the, even the comics I do have. Vega, I love watching your art channel videos. Really? Hmm. Cool. It's nope. almost like you have fans or something. Well, as you know, most people... Watch her stuff. I'm just, it's good. I try to be good. <laughs> it is good. It's just I, you know, I'm still kind of small, and I just got over a thousand like last month or so. So. Uh, and yeah. I and I hope you like the comics I sent. My sincerest apologies, however, if I sent too many at once, or if you already have a certain comic with the same cover. Never apologize for sending pony comics. I bought a lot of my comics at Hot Topic, so I'm hoping you don't have too many of the Hot Topic exclusive covers. I don't. I don't have uh, this variant. Anyway, I hope you're both doing well, and I'm looking forward to seeing you again at Con Bravo once the new management figures out when and where they'd like to have it after the pandemic's over. Have a great day, Charlie Holtam. P.S. Give Starfire and Chieri lots of pets and scritches for me. Will do. Yay. Seriously, this is a lot of the variants I don't have. And I mean, I'm not really a variant collector, but I do like uh, art on some more than others. And I don't have a lot of the Friendship Forever ones. And I have not completed the micro series. This is my this is uh, one of my favorites. That's oh, I already got that one. We got a gift from Jeffrey Piet. Strike witches. Strike and strike witches too. Uh, Still winning their war on pants. Uh, I don't. Says so, and and there's a there's a there's a booty shot. You shouldn't wear pants. They're but they're waging war on pants. Sing the praises of pants. This is one of my favorites of the series, of course, because it has my ship. Uh, my ship being Pinkie Pie and Cheese, which when it became canon, I will never forget the scream I did when I was watching the finale and Pinkie and Cheese were canon. And then in the comic series, I think 
I forget which number it was. It's somewhere in the 90s where you had the two-parter when they're throwing a party in Canterlot and cheese sandwich is helping and, but Pinky wants to admit her crush and it's hard and then it gets si there's some sort of silent crazy spell and they, they get together and it was beautiful. <laughs> You're the cheese to my Pinky, Lewis. Thank you, sweetie. Lower decks. Now we have no excuse. Yes, I do. I've been saying... My excuse is I don't want to watch it. I've been saying we should at least try it, like, one episode to see if it's all right. Tell you what, I will watch modern Star Trek again when it can go an entire season without making a reference to one of the old shows. How dare you? Because <laughs> you know just, that... Just an entire season where it doesn't need to rely on referencing stuff from or the old stuff. Just, just... Let it stand on its own and not rely on mentioning people or getting or having Q appear for no reason. Or lol, remember that time I'm Worf did this, even though we probably shouldn't even know about that. I didn't even watch the damn show, but I would search the Star Trek Tumblr sometimes, and and sometimes, and of course they they post gifs. I'm sure it's good. If you like it, great. I am happy that you are excited for this stuff. I can't stand it. I tried to watch... I, I watched three seasons of Discovery. I watched all of Picard. It's just not for me. Picard I'm, wasn't... Picard wasn't too bad, too. but it was it was okay. But it there was, was still stuff that bugged me. Oh. And I'm and I'm a nitpicky Star Ooh, Trek fan. Just now. just think of me as an old man who can't get over things. We watched the trailer for, for Lower Decks. It did not sell me on the series. And that is the purpose of a trailer. To try to sell you on it. It did not sell me on it. It repelled me. Ooh, Clifford Girl special. I think I have this in the uh, trade, though. Oh, nice. But, but thank you anyway. I'm sure Jeffrey P. had sent that. Yeah, some of this I have in trade form. But some of, like, the Friendship Forever series, I don't ha think I have that many of. So I'm really glad. But yeah, I, I know I have doubles now. I definitely will have pony doubles. Oh, we got gift receipts for some of this stuff. Cool. Yeah, I know I'm definitely going to have pony Pony doubles, but uh, variants, different variants I like. And when there's a cover I like, but I already have two in a comic, I sometimes will just frame the um, variant I like more and just like have one to read and one just to have on my wall. What I love about this gift receipt is that it's actually a reference to Camelot. Looks Proposition. Like comics books should contain... Comic, good comics should... Comics should be good from your Dark Knight Returns patron. Proposition. Good comics the comic should continue. They printed all of the gift receipts on one thing. Proposition. <laughs> if a comic book is not good, you should analyze why. From your Dark Knight Returns patron. Thank you. The patron who paid for the Dark Knight Returns gave me a bunch of stuff here. I like how it looked like a CVS receipt. We got uh, Once in Future, Volume 1, The King is Undead. Nice. We've got Unholy Grail. I should do, just like a, a, an Arthur month with all, all as much as we got here. Yeah, I mean, like, one, it's your thing. Two, you have enough material. Three, you could really indulge in that thing you like and mm. share it, and everyone loves it when you're enthusiastic and blah, blah, blah. Once in Future, Volume 2, Old English. Thank you so much, my Dark Knight Returns patron. <laughs> Yeah, I gave you a freaking CVS receipt. Yep. Anyway, I'll take the little box. Uh, I actually suspect I know what this is, and this is probably something I bought. But open it up anyway, just take a look. Okay. Let me double check there's no other things around here. Oh, I suppose there is one thing. I'm not sure if we're going to open it or not, because I, I, I want, because once I take it out, I'm going to want to put it away somewhere, because I worry about damaging it. Oh. But I'll say what it is. Oh, it's tapes. Yep, it is VHS tapes. That's That's what I ordered. I have my reasons. I have plans. Do we even have a VCR? Yes, we do. I think it's still in here. Okay. And if not, I can get one. Okay, thing that kind of bugs me. VCR. We called it a VCR in the 90s. We did not call it a VHS player. I understand why you say VHS player, because DVD player and Blu-ray player. It thus, VHS player technically makes sense. But we called it a VCR. We didn't call it a VHS player in the 90s! Anyway, this is more your thing than mine. Is it anime? It's anime. Oh, it's Senran Kagura. Is that good? I actually don't know anything about Senran Kagura, but I do have a small art book of Senran Kagura that I got at a convention just, like, 
on a whim. I think it was in a blind bag. And it was, it's, I get the impression it's like one of those spicy fan service fighting shows. Mm. But, uh, yeah. Ninja Flash. Oh, it's from the creators of Icky Tosin. I know what I'm into now. Like, I know what I'm going into if I watch that. Because I remember back in the day, I watched Icky Tosin with uh, my group of friends. We haven't even got halfway through the first episode till one of those friends bailed. It was at the point, you know the little eye catch between the, before the com commercial break? We get to the point where it's just the eye catch, and the eye catch is girl's ass. And the skirt flips up to see like a, a tattoo that is just the logo of the show. And then one person was like, no, I'm out. Fuck this. Branding. <laughs> it was just. Sexy, sexy branding. Yeah. And I'm just like, what the hell? I just remember there was an eye patch chick that looked hot. And uh, I think, I don't know. I made a joke about cosplaying with that, and my boyfriend at the time was like, no. So the last thing we got here is a poster. I am not going to take it out of here. Uh, the person who sent this to me contacted me ahead of time asking if I wanted it. Uh, the reason why I'm not taking it out is because it is apparently huge. Mm -hmm. And if I take it out, it'll probably be very difficult to roll back up again. Why don't you just put the image on the video? I probably will. It is a uh, Phil Jimenez poster. Uh, of, uh, it might be George Perez as well, if not the other way around. Basically, it's the triptych from the Titans, number 23 to 25, for all of Donna Troy's history. Where are we going to put that? Uh, probably downstairs in the, in the uh, filming space. How long is it? Uh, I think it's pretty long. It's supposed to be big. That's the other reason why they sent it to me. Because, like, they're moving. I think they're military. And they uh, are transferring to another base. And they, and they just... They were, were unable to find a frame for it, and it is just, like, so big that it's just like, well, I can't put it anywhere. Uh, so might as well send it to someone who would appreciate it, and that is me. Oh! There! Going down. Oh, the uh, the staircase going down. Yeah. I'm okay with that plan. That's a good idea. Mm, yes, it is. Chieri, are you coming over finally? Come here, Chieri. Because someone wanted us to give you pets and scritches. Yep. Come here, baby. We're giving you pets and scritches. I love you. We love our kitties. And that is it for us, uh, for this PO unboxing. Yep. We started with bigger chungus <laughs> from the start. We got a bunch of stuff, a lot of little things from Emily. Yep. And we got Ectotron, which I was expecting in the last PO unboxing. Yep. And of course, the most important thing we got, VHS tapes. <laughs> High standard, T120. Oh, your butt's in my face. Come on, cheer. I don't need to see your butthole. Anyway, until next time. Bye.